Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. You know what's strange? The fact that we work hard almost every day in return for pieces of paper and coins. It sounds weird, but we do this because we give that paper meaning and value. And like anything else in history, money has an interesting past. While we're only scratching the surface, let's talk a little bit about it. First, let's quickly describe what we mean by money. Economists define it as serving three purposes. Storing a value, being a unit of account, and a medium of exchange. So basically, we can decide how much something is worth and whether we want to buy it or save up for something else. But money wasn't always used to exchange things. In very primitive economies, money was used as a way to build social relationships such as arranged marriages. Most people think the birth of money is a consequence of barter. I mean, if you want to buy someone's chicken and they really want apples, well, if you don't have apples, you're out of luck and you are gonna be bombarded by doctors. So the argument is that money came about as a way to make this exchange less inconvenient. However, anthropologist David Graber disagrees. He claims that money came about as a way to quantify debt. Say you want your neighbor's cow. It's a really uh, good-looking cow. Instead of trading something for it, he would just give it to you with the knowledge that you owed him one. So money came about as a way to assign value to this debt and make it transferable. In fact, the first standardized metal coins began being used in Lydia and China in the 7th century BCE. And for a while throughout history, money was tied to precious metals like gold and silver, which were thought to have some intrinsic value. Value. Paper money first started being used in the Tang and Song dynasties in China, making the Chinese the first to adopt this new form of currency, and well ahead of their time. Between the 17th and 19th centuries, paper money slowly began to be used in Europe and Western countries. This currency started off as a way to represent that you had a certain amount of gold. However, after World War I, that gold standard eventually ended and transformed into our modern day currency. But paper isn't the only nonsensical thing we've assigned value to. After the Europeans arrived, in North America, they discovered shell beads used by Native Americans called wampum. To Native Americans, the beads were given as gifts and used in ceremonies. However, to the new colonists, these beads were used as a temporary currency. But then again, anything could be used as money. After all, we were the ones who give money its value. To alien species, our modern currency is just a bunch of rectangles and circular disks. But to us, for better or for worse, it's so much more. So if you had to create your own form of currency, what would it be? Tell us in the comments. And if you want to see another video on this topic, let us know. Make sure you come back every Monday for a brand new video. And if you want even more Life Noggin, check out this video we did on why we itch. As always, my name is Blacko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.